Hi, Luke. Great session and wonderful to work with you again up at the range last week. Uh, you threw me a dummy here, really, because I was fully expecting you to come, and our main concern was the amount at which you're dumping accumulated to. But when I looked at it from face on, albeit not ideal, what we were seeing was a player who was loading to uh, in a much more appropriate manner than we we're doing last time you came. Nice position at P4. Certainly not dumping the wrists excessively at that point. We can see that the right elbow is very visible, which is a telltale sign. We know that the hands are shallowing too much. Coming through impact, substantially improved shaft lean, um, much less of a flip coming through the golf ball. So overall, in regards to what Accumulator 2 was doing and, and the amount of, sorry, if you will, the rate of closure on the club face, massive improvements. What we were seeing, however, was a club that was coming way too much from the inside, way too shallow, shoulders very shut off at impact, it's got push, hook, and not much club head speed written all over it. And we, we linked it to what the right elbow was doing. If we look at the right elbow, as you change direction from P4 to P5, the dominant move in your right elbow is downwards, and it gets stuck behind the right hip. From the, it's now impossible for you to turn through it hard enough, and you tend to get stuck on the club very shallow to the ground, etc, etc. If we look at players like Hunter Mayan, and I use the example of Matt O'Grady, hopefully you've been watching him on YouTube, almost more of a cut pattern, you're going to get this right elbow working down and out. You can see as you do that, working the right elbow down and out, the club gets more in front of the player, and the player lines up in a much more appropriate manner at impact. So the first thing we did was feel like the right elbow is getting in front of the right hip. You can see when you do that, it has the effect of bringing the club out in front of you more. It controls the path of the hands during the downswing. Much more like we're seeing here with Hunter Mayhem. So trying to get the right elbow working in front of the right hip. You can see as you do that, you're much better at getting back into flexion also. You see the right shoulder, instead of dropping down, the left shoulder working up. Everything getting stuck underneath. The left shoulder and right shoulder work in a much more appropriate manner. Complete opposite. And we then, the task I've given you is to learn to hit the golf ball with just the right hand. You can see straight away, this was one shot into this exercise. Instinctively, the right elbow finds its ideal position to be. You can see it getting much more out in front of the right hip. Right shoulder working down and on plane, as we discussed. You were saying that the feeling you had when you were doing a certain drill was that that right shoulder worked down and out, as opposed to down and behind you, if you were. Everything lining up in a much more appropriate manner to hit the golf ball at P6. So the key here, this has got to be worked in, Luke. we had the discussion at the end of your session, it was a great session, if you have any questions feel free to follow me an email or pop in the shop as you've done in the past, but you've really got to work this in, you cannot make this work, irrespective of where you are at P4, if the right elbow traces this route, when we need it to trace this route. Everything you do needs to be linked to what the right elbow is doing. We want the right elbow in front of the right hip at P6, not stuck behind the right hip at P6. Great session, good luck with it. I look forward to working with you again in the coming weeks. Well done.